Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to take you for a walk around my garden and I'm going to talk about tool. This is tool. So many people have asked me, what do you do with tool? You know what? Let's move this real quick. These are some radishes that I planted on my deck garden two days ago. I use a piece of tool, very simple just to protect them from birds. That's all I'm trying to do. Just for a day or two, and then I'm gonna remove it. That's what I use tool for. But I wanna take you around my garden. Let's go in the garden. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with tool and why I love this. And then I'll explain why I rushed to get this up today on tool. So you know what, before we walk around the yard, and I'll show you what I use tool for, let me show you what tool is. Tool is like a fabric. It's something like they make wedding dresses out of. And it is really great for anybody that's gardening that has any issues with anything. I love my tool. As you can see, there's tool behind me. And by the way, that tool is going on two years old. That tool is fantastic. This is how it comes. Now, I generally order three at a time. You can order one. It doesn't matter, but you know, when I order one sometimes, I've noticed to keep the shipping down, they take the cardboard out and they fold it up in a little envelope. It's fine, it doesn't matter, but I like to get it in a bowl. Now this is Hunter Green, and these are 54 inches wide. So it looks like it's not that wide, but it will unfold one more time. It's fantastic. So it's really wide and you have 40 yards. Let me tell you, one goes, a very long way. So I order three at a time. I pay $10 a piece and that includes the shipping. So $30 and I've got three of them. Look at that. I really didn't need them yet, but they're so cheap. I wanted to make sure I could get them. They send them priority mail. I get them on eBay. I have found them to be the best price I have bought some from Joann's. They carry it too. So if you just need a little bit, you can find the Joann's. You know, any any fabric store will carry it. Tool is T-U-L-L-E. -L -L -E. It's a netting. You some Sometimes you go in and even the workers don't know what tool is. And so ask them where the netting is, the fabric that they make wedding veils out of, or slips, or I guess nobody wears slips anymore. Oh, I dated myself. But um, this is what it is. And this company has multiple colors. I mean, they've got different greens. This one is Hunter, it's a dark green. They've got emerald green, they've got mint green, they got reds and corals and blues and whites and yellows and oranges and just all different colors. And I like this one because it disappears. So when I put it in the garden, it just disappears in the garden. So like I said, you can order one, you can order three, you can order whatever you want. I like ordering them in threes, it comes in a nice box. That's just my thing. You know what, I don't need to put it away right now. I wanna take you on a walk around the garden, explain to you why I like it so much. And as I was saying, you can go to Joann's. They have all kinds of colors there. It is gonna cost a little bit more. This is fine. You, with, when you go to a fabric store, you can get them in different thicknesses. But you know, I have found this to work perfect because what you're trying to do with tool is you're trying to either keep away birds that are eating your new seedlings you may be trying to keep birds out of certain plants that maybe they're picking on. You can keep out all kinds of rodents because they don't like the feel of tool because they get their nails stuck in it. They have these teeny little nails. And when they touch the tool, I don't have anything open. When they touch the tool, they get their nails caught. Rabbits, squirrels, rats, mice. They just don't like the feel of the tool. And they think it's a trap, so they jump back. So it works really, really well. Here's the tool. See, it's, you can't even see it. It's so fine. Very, very fine. And that's basically what you're trying to do is keep the critters off. It's not going to work on dogs. Maybe some dogs. Kitty doesn't like it. She won't go near it. Kitty's my Yorkie. But as far as, you know, keeping dogs out or cats out, well, cats won't like the feel of it. If you laid it on some soil, let's say you had something growing and cats are walking all over it, they won't be able to dig in this and do you know what in there. So you could use it for cats. Let's walk around the garden and let me show you 
in different areas how I use my tool and why I like it so much. So here's a container that I took the lid and I cut the lid off. Well, I cut the, the center of the lid out. Let me show you, and I'll show you exactly how I made this. This worked out fantastic. So all you need is a lid. If you've got a lid to one of the totes, even if it doesn't fit, it will still work. And I made holes all the way around because I'm going to zip tie some tool to the top. So you, with the uh, soldering iron, that's what I use, I made a hole. Then I made a hole in the that portion of the lid where I can get a scissors in. And this plastic is very easy to cut. The ones I buy, they seem to cut really good. So I cut all the way around. And then once I had the hole opening, I went and cut a piece of tool that I needed. I could have used it double thickness, but I didn't because I can make a second lid. I don't need it double thickness. And so I cut the tool. And then once I had the size tool I needed, which is really easy to cut, then all I needed was some zip ties, which are really cheap. You could use wire if you wanted to, and if you really wanted to, you could probably just use masking tape, but I don't know how long it would last on plastic. So I used some zip ties, and I just zip tied on the tool. You could put the tool on the inside if you want. I just figured I'd prefer to have it on the outside. I've been doing this for years with all kinds of other containers using tool like this now. I even put it on cottage cheese containers. And that's basically it. And now you've got a lid that you can use when you're planting seedlings or you want to protect new plants that are really little until they're big enough. And you've got the lid whenever you need. I've been doing this for years with smaller containers. I usually don't have lids when I order. Well, I don't usually order totes. I used to buy them at the thrift store, but lately I haven't been going anywhere, so I've been buying them online for about $5 from Walmart. You can get them anywhere you want. A lot of people have totes. This is very simple. What it is, is I'm starting some carrots in here, and I've got a pepper growing, and young, you know, seedlings like that coming up is a big attraction to birds. Birds love seedlings. So by putting a lid on it where the birds can't get through, I can leave that just the way it is. I can water at the same time. I don't even have to take it off if I don't want to. And once the plants get bigger, I can just take the lid off and then just, of course, keep the lid for another time. You could also just drape some tool over it if you wanted to. If you don't have a lid, you could do that. There's a lot of different things you could do. I think, a, I think a subscriber told me that she cut the center out of the lid and she draped the tool and then she put the lid on top. But I just didn't want to fuss with it. I want to be able to take the lid off and keep on going. So it's whatever way will work for you. So there's one way. Let's continue on down and I'll show you where else I'm using tool in my driveway garden. Now here, I'm starting some lettuce seeds, and I'm gonna transplant the lettuce as the lettuce is getting bigger. With this, I did it really simple. I just took some old tool. This was actually old tool from the garden. It's probably over a year old. And I draped it over the top. It's about ready to come off. And I just tied it. That's simple. Just a simple look, a nothing knot. Just tied it, and that has kept the birds out from eating my young lettuce seeds. It's worked out fantastic. Let's walk over here. I'll show you some more tool. Here, I just wanted to protect the okra. I've got an okra coming up, and I had a second one over here, and I think a bird came in here. I saw a little toey jumping around my totes here, and then it was gone, and I think he clipped the okra. So what I did was I draped a piece of tool, and I tied a rock. I made weights. So I've got weights on both sides. Look at this. The birds don't want to mess with this, so they haven't touched it in days. Now I've got an okra there, and I'll probably put another seedling there. There are so many different ways to use tool. Let's go into the main garden and see what I'm doing. So here, I put some tool around this container. This is something that Gary found. Somebody threw it away. It looked like it was a cabinet, an outdoor garden cabinet, and they didn't have the top, which was fine, and we turned it into a planter. But when I had my squash started, and it, there were seedlings, I threw some tool around here. And look, it's just zip tied on. You could use anything, bread ties, you can use masking tape, whatever you want. You can use clothespins to add tool on. And I had it draped over here so the birds and the animals, any rodents, they wouldn't bother the young squash. It doesn't need to be there now, so I can remove it at any time and don't throw away old tool. Let me show you over here what I did with a piece of old tool. I actually tied up the dragon fruit plant. It was in my garden, hanging all the way over here, and I kept 
scratching myself on it. So I used the tool and I tied it to the fence. And it's not hurting the plant at all. It's very soft, so the plant doesn't mind it because you'd have to be careful if I used a wire or a string or even a piece of yarn. I could cut that plant because it's a young, you know, soft, succulent plant and I don't want to injure it. But with tool, it doesn't bother the plant at all. There's all kinds of things you can do with tool. Let's walk over here. Okay, that's a sloppy mess, but it's still tool. It's some tool I grabbed that was around the yard. I'm going to freshen all this up and clean this all up, but I wrapped some tool. I had some white tool. I had some old hunter green tool. I had to save the pepinos because something was coming in here and grabbing the pepinos. And you would think, well, wait, the pepinos are still open. Why are they not grabbing them? Because it was obviously a rodent and they did not want to climb on the tool. They don't want to get their nails in there. See how fine it is? They get their nails stuck. Now, they're not getting stuck where they can't get out. No, but if you have it real loose, sometimes they get stuck and they run off with the tool and you'll find the tool somewhere in the garden. But they get their nails stuck in there and they think that it's a trap. And they're pulling and pulling. I saw a rabbit get stuck once and jump off. He got so scared. So when they touch it, they leave. So generally, the tool will work really, really good for that. And one more place and then we'll go to another place. And now we're at our papayas. Yes, something found the papayas. At first we thought it was the ravens, but we have figured out it's not the ravens. So it's probably ground squirrels. They were climbing up the papaya plant and going to the top and eating holes in the papaya. So now I put some tool there, see? Just old tool from the garden. I didn't even open up anything good, I should have. And here, I literally just tied it on. It looks really funny but the point is when they come up and they climb up the trunk and that's why it's all kind of messed up if you can see it's all kinked up and everything see they've even torn it they've gotten caught and then they pull on it and pull on it but guess what they're not eating the papayas anymore it doesn't take much because it's a big deterrent for a lot of animals they don't know what it is if they ever knew what it was, we'd be in big trouble. But they really don't know what it is. And so they want to stay away from it and they don't want it on their little nails. And they don't want to chew it because they absolutely don't know what it is. So that's really been fantastic. It's been a lifesaver for me. And it lasts so long, I didn't need to buy three more. And you know what? I bought three more last night and I'll tell you why. Let's go one more place back to the front yard. Okay, so now we're in the front yard. As you can see, I used tomato steaks. And you could just wind it around any way you want. I wanted to make sure I kept the critters out, including the deer. It does keep deer away. They don't know what it is, so they don't fight with it. This, these actually have a door. It's gone all the way around. It's like a, it's a wonderful, it's a netting type of cage. See what I did here? Now keep in mind, these are going on two years old. May need a little freshening up. I think I need to fix the zip tie over there. But look at this. I'm going to plant some young zucchini in here later on today and I just want to make sure I keep the rabbits out. Look at this. See, I've made it where it goes all the way around and all I have to do is bring it around here and put a clothespin here. That's all I have to do and then I've got a door on the front of this until I want to leave it open. And there's one there and then of course like I showed you here's the back side of the tool here. I draped it to the ground. Another thing you can do is you can tool small containers. There's multiple ways you can do it. You can sit a pot on top of tool and you can lift it up and then you could tie it on the top if you've got a stake in it. You can also put soil on that. If you wanted to start a container and you knew you didn't want anything in it, you can actually put the tool in the container, fill it up with soil, and then lift it up and teepee it. There's so many ways because soil and water does not hurt this tool, it doesn't break down. Obviously there's a type of nylon or plastic in it, but it's fantastic, so there's so many ways to use it. This is red Swiss chard. If I wanted to save the seeds, because of course the birds will come eat the seeds, I could just drape tool over it and either tie it with a piece of yarn or masking tape or a clothespin. And then once the seeds are ready, I can pick them. So for seed saving, it is fantastic too. And there's so many other ways I can't think of offhand I use it. It has been fantastic. I think any of you that have been watching my garden tours, you all know what that is. 
I put this here because I've got those cinder blocks down there, which each one has a flower pot in it, because cinder blocks, they draw the water away from the plants. So I have plastic pots all the way through here. And I've got walking onions, green sorrow, different kale growing in here, some garlic chives. I've got them in the cinder blocks, and then I surrounded it with the tool up and down because I had squirrels and everything eating it and they haven't touched this. And this tool is going to be, it's over two years old. Look how fantastic it looks. It's been here that long. I didn't even expect it. And that's why I'm crazy about tool. There's just so many things you can do, even if you're just using it temporarily to get your plant started or using it permanently as a setup to keep things out. And when you have extra tool, Throw it somewhere, throw it in containers in your garden. Don't throw it away and keep it. So if you need a piece, sometimes you only need a little piece, you've got it because it will last for so many years. If you do have an eBay account, be sure to sign up for what's called eBay Bucks because it's free and oh, they also started last night for a couple days to give you 5% back. What it is, you, you get credit and then every three months they give you money to spend on eBay and you can spend whatever it is. You get $5, you spend the $5. You don't have to spend any more. And I have an eBay Bucks account and it's just so easy to sign up. It's free and they've been the best price and this company's been great. So that's it. Just wanted to end that with the last note. Look. A tomato volunteer came up and this too is over two years old so I'm back where I started with you in the garden here with my new tool so easy to cut all you need is a scissor sometimes you can even tear a piece off if you want you start a little cut and then you can tear it now the reason I want to rush and get this up today and I know you may be seeing this after today so don't worry is for some reason I found out last night they put this on sale and it, I can't believe it's on sale because it's ten dollars for a packet that includes the shipping and everything and that is a fantastic price alone but for them to put it on sale and have it even cheaper I bought four of them last night now like I said ten dollars is well worth it you are getting 40 yards 54 inches wide and if you've got a small patio, a small area where you're growing, one's going to last you all season, if not even into next season. If you've got a bigger area and you've got a lot more things covering, Gary uses it in his garden, he's covering a lot of plants, then maybe you will want a little bit more. And you know what? The reason I bought four more last night and I bought three earlier, uh, about a couple months ago, was because it doesn't go bad. It'll last for years. You just stick it in a closet when you need it, it's there. And think about the colors. I'm trying to get mine to disappear, so I bought green. Gary wanted red. He wanted some other colors so he could see it. And you may be covering apples or grapes or something else like that, fruits, where you want to be able to walk right up to the plant and see it. And if you want to do it that way, then yes. And mix and match. Buy some colors if you want. Buy red, blue, purple, whatever color you want. Because let's say I wanted to see the plant and I wanted to see the fruit. Because yes, this kind of disappears in the garden, but if you wanted to know exactly where it is, you could spot it from the other side, then yes, you would go with a color, and that's the way you would do it. You could get a bright color. You do it the way it will work for you. That's the main thing. Think about it. You know, you may be able to use it. Maybe you know somebody with a garden, you want to buy some for a friend, but I'm not sure if I'll buy any more. I just, like I said, I bought another four last night, unless I decide to get some other colors, I don't know. Gardening season is on now, and this has been a lifesaver, and you can use this whether it's on a garden, a deck, a patio. There's a lot of uses you can use it for. And you know what? When those fruit bugs or when those fruit beetles, I should say, are flying around, I can even drape a piece over my head, and I can tie it that way if I can't find my hat with the netting. This is fantastic. So I hope, I hope I've given you an idea of some thought of something that may be able to help you with fruit trees, your fruits, your vegetables, or special flowers you might be growing. You want to save the seeds. You don't want the birds to eat the seeds. This will work for you. So with that, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.